Hi everybody, Big Bong here. I hope you're doing amazing because today you and I will become polyglots. Indeed, we'll be learning four languages. But before we do that, let me ask you a question. Do you know the difference between romance languages and romantic languages? It's a tricky question because both adjectives share the same root, which is Rome. And romance languages do have the reputation of being romantic. I'm talking about Italian, French, Spanish and Portuguese. Apart from that, if you've been following this channel, you probably know that one of my favorite ways of learning languages is by watching movies and TV shows. And if you're not following this, this channel, why don't you subscribe? It only takes one second, it's completely free, unless unless you really want me to stop. Anyway, today we'll be learning with Lingo Pie. I don't know why, but this name just makes me want to sing. Now, it's not the first time I mentioned this streaming service, but I keep on adding more languages and awesome features. Don't worry, I'll be showing you as I'll be going around the website. But if you know you're already interested, you can sign up right now by clicking on link in the description down below. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to be the first time you try a streaming service. But here you'll see that it's designed for language learning. At the top, you'll see a banner with your all time progress your watch time, uh, the words added as flashcards, we'll get back to that, uh, the words learned, then on the top right, language selected, which you can change at any time. So the languages currently available are Italian, Japanese, Korean, Russian, Portuguese, German, French, and Spanish. Now let's get to the vertical banner uh, on the left, explore, so you'll see all the content available in the language you're studying. Review and practice, uh, private lessons. Oh, that's new. Uh, I've been using LingoPi for about a year and a half and it's the first time I see that. Well, actually, it's written right next to it, new. Practice your Italian with a private teacher, improve your fluency and confidence by discussing your favorite shows. Wow. Community leaderboard. Ah, if you're competitive, that could be an interesting way for you to stay motivated. Then there is a form if you have any questions or if you just want to exchange with the community. Buy a gift card if you know any uh, language enthusiasts or people learning a specific language among your friends. Now let's get back to explore. And here you'll see a large selection of content listed by type. Uh, Binge-worthy shows, comedy, short movies, documentaries, travel, food, cartoons, you name it. And once you've selected what you want to watch, you'll see all the awesome tools that makes this platform the best one to learn languages. First, you can either choose to have the whole script on the right to have a bigger picture of the show, or you can toggle to full screen. And as you're watching, you can decide to put subtitles in the target language, in your language, or both. There is also this new feature called Mashup that will give you the translation of the most relevant words. You can go back to the previous caption or the next one, and at any time you can click on a word to get an instant translation and also to hear it. Gips too. Of course, because it's local original content, uh, sometimes it can be difficult to follow at full speed. So what you can do is to slow it down a little bit uh, to something that's a bit more suited for your needs. After watching a show, uh, all the words you've clicked on will be automatically sent to the flashcard section. We'll get back to that after we're done watching. There is also an auto loop uh, to replay uh, and listen to a sentence over and over again. And finally, there is the say it tool. So the name says it all. Uh, it's actually making you say a word or an expression out loud and it'll give you instant feedback. I personally repeat everything out loud so it's very annoying to watch a show in a different language with me. That's in my nature but sometimes we just need a little push. So I often suggest that you record yourself and listen to the tracks. But even so we might not hear all the subtleties and nuances. On LingoPie you'll receive honest, objective and trustworthy feedback. Make sure to activate your microphone and you'll be ready to go. For the sake of keeping this video concise I'll be showing you only once but I usually use it when I'm facing long and tricky expressions. For Italian, I've chosen a very dramatic show called Radici Spezzate. In English, it's called The Lady with the Black Veil. <laughs> Introducing Say It. You can now record yourself anytime while watching and try sounding like a local. <laughs> Let's try that in Italian. Three, two, one. Non ti ho mai visto piangere così. All right. Ma è sincero il tuo dolore. Ma è sincero il tuo dolore. It's already so dramatic. <laughs> Ma, but, è sincero, so very similar to English. Is it sincere? Il tuo dolore. So that's what I love about Italian. It's the, your sorrow. Is your sorrow sincere? Le tue lacrime sono di rimpianto o di rimorso? La tue lacrime sono di rimpianto o di rimorso? La tue again. The your lacrime, the tears, la tue lacrime sono di rimpianto, are of regret, o di rimorso, or remorse. Your tears, are they of regret or remorse? Mi amavi e hai cercato fino alla fine di salvarmi. Mi amavi e hai cercato fino alla fine di salvarmi. 
Did you love me and try until the end to save me? O mi ingannavi e mi tradivi. O mi ingannavi e mi tradivi. Or did you mislead and betray me? E sei stato tu a spingermi nel fiume. E sei stato tu a spingermi nel fiume. And it was you who pushed me into the river. Oh my god, Italian. You can't get more dramatic than that. Actually, the script on the right is very useful if you want to go straight to a certain expression or learn a whole dialogue. Now, let's move on to Spanish and we'll have to make a tough choice here. Depending on where you are in the world, some accents might sound more romantic than others. If there is one that you particularly like, please let me know in the comments. The great thing with LingoPie is that you have access to content from a lot of different Spanish-speaking countries. The accents I'm most familiar with are the ones from Spain, Mexico and Korea. Colombia uh, because of friends and content I watched in the past. That being said, the designers of the website also had to make a choice for the automated voice when you click on a word in the subtitles and they decided to go with a standard Latin American one. I actually tested with a Spanish show and one from Argentina. Esa es la tercera. La tercera. So you see, she says, esa es la tercera, but if you listen to the automated voice, it says, esa es la tercera. Con esos maravillosos paisajes donde las nubes, los mares... Maravillosos paisajes. And same here, maravillosos paisajes becomes maravillosos paisajes. Anyway, are you going to judge me if I choose a telenovela? There is a Colombian one called Made in Cartagena, and it's exactly what you would expect from such a show. The poster says it all, but they speak a lot, so that's good for us. Lo siento, perdón. Señora, fíjese por dónde camino. <laughs> this is so cheesy. Disculpame, ha sido culpa mía. Es que voy con el móvil distraído y no, no me di cuenta, no te vi. No, no. Di Lo siento. Disculpame, es que tengo la cabeza en otro lugar. Uh -huh. Disculpame. Lo siento, eh. Lo siento mucho, de verdad. Hasta Lo siento. <laughs> It's too much. But they speak fast, so that's a very good practice. Let's study that. Ay, lo siento, perdón. So if you bump into someone, uh, you know what to say. Ay, lo siento, perdón. Ay, señor, fíjese por donde camina. Oh, sir, watch your step. The translation is good here, but literally it's more uh, look at where you're walking. Fíjese por donde camina. Donde, where, camina, you're walking. Discúlpeme, ha sido culpa mía. Oh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Ha sido... It was culpa mía. The fault was all mine. Es que voy con el móvil distraído. It's just that I'm on my cell phone. Distraído, distracted. Móvil. You can say mobile phone. You can say cell phone. I don't know if there's this difference uh, in different Spanish-speaking countries. I think I've heard celular. Is that possible? Maybe it's just in the States or in Mexico. Y no me di cuenta. No te vi. And I didn't realize I didn't see you. No, no. Di Lo siento. Discúlpame. Okay, interesting. So it's an aspirated S. Discúlpame. No, no, discúlpame. Lo siento. Again, they apologize. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Isn't that just the best way of meeting someone? Es que tengo la cabeza en otro lugar. It's just that my head is somewhere else. Otro lugar. Literally in another place. The time has come to practice Portuguese and you will also have to make the tough decision between the accent from Portugal or the one from Brazil. But I personally know more people from Brazil, so I'll be going with that accent. So there's this show called Let's Go in English. Uh, the original title is actually also in English, Come to Papa. And here we go. Meu nome é Felipe. Meu nome é Felipe. My name is Felipe. Eu sou rico. I don't know if uh, it's the accent from Rio specifically, or if all Brazilians speak like that, or if it's also the case in Portugal, but um, I notice a devoiced uh, ending. So, Felipe, I hear Felipe. Não sou rico. Não sou rico. Só de saúde. Só de saúde. Only in good health. Só de saúde. Não faço muita coisa da vida. Não faço muita coisa da vida. I don't do much in life. Só tô deixando a vida me levar, sabe? Só estou deixando a vida me levar, sabe? I'm just letting my life take me, you know? Vida leva eu. Ah, Reisé. Vida leva eu. Ai, Reisé. Reisé. Life takes me. King Zé. Who's King Z? I don't understand the reference here. I'll probably need a little bit more practice for Portuguese. Now, I already have a pretty decent level in French, but watching a show is enjoyable anyway, so let's do that. I've selected a romantic short film. Oui. Oui, c'est bien moi. Oui, je vois ça. Mais on s'est jamais rencontrés, hein? Quelqu'un comme toi, je m'en souviendrai. Merci, c'est gentil. Non, c'est pas gentil. Oui. Oui, c'est bien moi. Yes. Yes, it's me. Oui, je vois ça. 
<laughs> That's so awkward. Yes, I, I can see that. So this, if you're learning French, is really good to know. The subtitle is correct. Mais on ne s'est jamais rencontré, non. But more naturally, I think the way she says it, she skips the n. Mais on s'est jamais rencontré, non. Mais on s'est jamais rencontré, non. But we've never met, right? Mais on s'est jamais rencontré. Hein? Quelqu'un comme toi, je m'en souviendrai. Someone like you, I'd remember. Oh, merci, c'est gentil. Non, c'est pas gentil. <laughs> She's so mean. Why? It's so difficult for us to approach someone. Merci, c'est gentil. Non, ce n'est pas gentil. Thanks, that's nice. No, it's not nice. So here, the same thing. The subtitle is grammatically correct. Non, ce n'est pas gentil. But more naturally, when we speak, non, c'est pas gentil. So if you want to be proper, you should say non, ce n'est pas gentil. But everybody says non, c'est pas gentil. And it's going to make you sound more natural. Non, c'est pas gentil. What a mean girl. Don't waste your time, man. All right, now let's go back to flashcards. So Portuguese is the one I'm struggling the most with. I can select either no idea and it's going to stay a flashcard. Uh, or I know and it's going to be part of the words learned. I know that it's my name. Mon nom est Philippe. Non, son rico. So I'm not rich. I am not. So you can click directly on the card to return it and see the translation. Oh, and one last thing. After you click on five words, a noted generated quiz will appear on screen for you to review them. That's one more fun way to learn as you play. This is what it looks like and let's get one wrong to see what happens. Here you go. By the way, did I mention that if you sign up by clicking on link in the description down below, you'll get a 65% discount? So that's about it, guys. Learn by watching movies, TV shows, then review the words you learned with flashcards, and I'm telling you, you'll become fluent in no time. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know with a thumbs up, and if you also think that watching movies and TV shows is an excellent way to learn, let me know in the comments. All right, take care of yourself, and I'll see you very soon. Hasta pronto. Ciao.